If you're getting ready to cook out this Memorial Day weekend, first you've got to clean that grill. Yeah, but ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee explains why one local woman is asking everybody to reach for the trash can and toss out your metal bristle brush. Okay, so Andrea Cooper so is now the, up to date on her tetanus shot. This is the antifungal, antibacterial lidocaine solution that I have to swish around several times a day. Wait, that's not all. As well as the high powered antibiotics that I'm Taking. She's been on them since Monday after she and her husband pulled out a half inch thick wire bristle from her tongue. The same kind found in the brush they used to clean the grill right before they used it. They do tend to blend in with the grill, so unless you look, you're really looking for them, you're not going to see them. Cooper's lucky. Dr. David Ween, the chief of emergency medicine at Tampa General, says if someone swallows one, it can puncture your esophagus. Certainly if it goes all the way through there, it can lead to infections in your chest and other things. I won't be grilling this weekend, no. But if you are, especially for Memorial Day, this double helix, no bristle brush is a great alternative. You can find it at Greats Grills and More in Oldsmar for 16 bucks. If you don't want to use a brush or a tool, you can simply wait for the grate to cool down, pick it up, bring it inside and wash it in your sink. Stainless steel is a little easier to clean. If you have a grate that is coated, you got to be careful because you could eventually wear that coating down. James Dia.